The NXT outputs, typically A, B and C for the motors. A can carry 800 milliamps, B can carry 500 milliamps and C can carry 500 milliamps. Which, if you want to run a 10 amp wheelchair motor at 24 volts, obviously you can't run it straight off the brick. That's why we're doing the circuit. So if we take the LEGO NXT type telephone connector network connector type cable and we cut the wire you will notice coming out there are various colored wires but for the motor purpose we need the white and the black wire so it's the white wire and the black wire now if we were to connect a diode over there like that when the motor runs one way typically because there are H bridges inside of the LEGO NXT brick the current might flow that way which might make the motor turn the one way and typically your diode might light because you've substituted a diode in place of the motor now if we were to put another diode facing the other way when the current flows the other way the other LED would light so one way motor turning the LED lights the one way and the other LED lights for the other way now the trick is to develop this circuit into our switching function for inside of our H bridge these devices should typically if you're going to connect an LED across the output ports of an NXT brick you need to put in a 100 ohm resistor over there in either the white or the black line and you must connect up both LEDs simultaneously so that the one protects the other one when the current reverses direction.